Like rain and sunshine, fire is a naturally occurring element necessary to maintaining Florida's beautiful and dynamic ecosystems. However, the development of housing and infrastructure in Florida has contributed to the exclusion of fire from natural environments. Fire suppression without fuel reduction inhibits natural cycles that prevent an overgrowth of vegetation. Highlands County has one of the highest occurrences and risk of wildfire in the state of Florida. The dark red on the map depicts the areas in Highlands County that have a very high susceptibility to wildfire risk. Prescribed burning is a fuels management technique frequently used in Highlands County. Prescribed burning is the planned application of fire to natural fuels or vegetation in order to accomplish a specific management goal. By reducing fuel sources, communities reduce the likelihood that wildfires will be able to escalate in treated areas. Without ample fuels, fires will be less likely to grow to uncontrollable sizes, which makes them difficult to suppress. In August 2009, the Division of Forestry performed a prescribed burn of an area east of Highlands Hammock State Park. What we're actually doing is burning these blocks right here. You see the subdivision down here, that's Golf Hammock. Uh, another couple of developments that border it on the north side. We have a home in here. The area that is being burned is a platted subdivision divided into privately owned quarter acre lots that have not been developed except for a few homes. The subdivision is surrounded by developments to the north and south. There are platted but undeveloped subdivisions similar to this one throughout Highlands County. When you start opening up places like this, putting people in it, doing nothing to manage the vegetation, uh, fires are going to happen. And uh, that's not a big fire issue. If you looked at the map, the wildfires in the county, and most of our fires are within, you know, a couple miles east or west of US 27, the length of the county. And that's where the subdivisions are, and that's where the people are. Rangers set fire to the underbrush of the targeted area and monitor the fire to make sure that it stays in the designated area and does not spread to the larger trees. Ensuring safety and maintaining control over the fire is the primary goal of rangers. You see the days are over here. We just got oh, them on the ground just in case. Burns of this type will have, you know, we'll end up having more people out here and equipment than we actually need to pull the burn off. Uh, we double up on people and equipment as a contingency, uh, just in case, you know, the rare event happens where, you know, we've got to put the fire out. Doesn't happen too often, we've never had any you know, big problems on this calendar. Throughout the burn, rangers are constantly monitoring weather conditions and fire behavior. We just lit off on the west side. Does not have a clean line. Uh, you will come check that out. You monitor that. They said there's rain, uh, probably from the south. Southeast is what we're watching, but I just thought we'll keep an eye on it. It could develop, but they just say it's rain. Copy, no, I don't, when I'm on channel 9, I can't hear anything from the Okay, roger. This is the area immediately after the burn. This area will serve as a barrier for fire for about two years. Six months later, the burn markings on the trees are still visible and the underbrush has started to grow back. 
Many of Florida's plant species have adapted to periodic fire and need it for regeneration and growth. Native animals rely on fire to keep their natural habitats from becoming overgrown and overpopulated with non-native and invasive species. Prescribed burns are one part of a comprehensive strategy that Highlands County is developing to protect its population and property from uncontrolled wildfires. The county is developing a community wildfire protection plan scheduled to be adopted in summer 2010. For more information about the plan and prescribed burning, please visit www.highlandswildfire.com.